Today is the 1st of December, and I'm going to attempt to do a thing called Markothon. It's an event where, for every day in December, you have to run for five kilometres or for half an hour. Hello, my name's Ian, and I'm recording this about six weeks after completing the challenge. Did I succeed? Well, you'll have to watch to find out. I'm recording this to say that I will pop in occasionally to offer context, corrections, or add some detail to the video. Why is it called Markathon? The event was created in 2009 by ultra runner Marco Consani, who ran every day in December. His wife was so inspired by this, she ran every day in December and called the event Markathon. Stop, stop. I've always disagreed with the principle of it because uh, I don't think you should run every day. I think you should have a rest when you're tired. I'm going to do it more realistically. I'm going to attempt to run every day, but it might not necessarily be 5k. And it might not necessarily be fast. My first run is to the local golf co course. It's 7 o'clock in the morning and it's currently minus 5 and it's freezing fog everywhere. Oh, I've got like a thick jacket on, another jacket underneath it, a t-shirt underneath that, gloves, hat and a thick woolly socks <laughs> and I'm still cold. Oh, first one done, probably two minutes. Day two of Markathon, or Ianathon as I'm going to call it, because it's an easier, more fun version of the same event. And uh, I wasn't sure I was going to run today, because when I woke up it was snowing quite heavily, but actually it's about 11 o'clock in the morning now and the roads are okay. Um, this one especially is okay because it's the farm road that leads up to Celtic's training ground and Celtic must pay the council or something because this is one of the few roads around here. They always grew it. They don't grow the road to my house, but they grew the road to Celtic. So, short run today, four miles, head up to the castle and hope we get a nice view. December the 3rd, just after 9 o'clock in the morning, and it's a Sunday, which means it's a long run day for me. So instead of half an hour, I'm doing a couple of hours by heading up the hill to back my house. That's a beautiful morning for me. Today is December the 4th, and to get my run in, I parked the car near work, and I'm going to jog to the office, and I'll jog home again later on. And the bonus bit of exercise, uh, not very bad me to not run still. Um, the route I take is not very scenic, which I have stopped here. It's a little nicer uh, part of the route, is just to see the cathedral.
today is December the 5th and I'm working at home today, which means I can pop out lunchtime and we run. And although it looks like quite a nice day, absolutely bollock. And I've just been running along this path and it's actually quite icy. <laughs> so I'm walking a bit. If I can get to a bit of grass, then I'll run there instead. Um, I think one of the keys to this challenge is probably tracking how I feel each day when I'm going out for a run. Um, so today, um, I actually feel pretty good, so I'm going to give myself 9 out of 10. But I do have one injury, um, because I played badminton yesterday and I haven't been playing in ages. Um, my ass is really sore today. <laughs> I think it must be the lunges in badminton, or at least I hope it is. Today I'm feeling very good, but I haven't got much spare time, so I've only got a very short period of lunchtime to pop out for a, for a run. And so I thought, even if it's short, find somewhere nice to run. So come along to the river. Today is Thursday, the 7th of December, and I'm walking through the necropolis, the old Great Garden Glasgow. That's because I've already done my run today. I ran into the office this morning. I won't bother sticking any food to that up because it's exactly the same as the other day. Uh, today's run, I see I'm still feeling pretty fit, healthy. I think that's mainly because all my runs have a 10 minute mile pace, which for me is my slow, easy, and go all day pace. I think if I was trying to be faster, I'd probably get knackered. So, but anyway, weather's changed. It's supposed to be even worse tomorrow. If I have any enthusiasm for running. Each week a marathon comprises 35k of running, which is three and a half hours. In week one, I managed 41.3k in 5.5 hours. So at the end of this week, I was feeling good and I was ahead of marathon in distance and in time. Today is uh, Friday. <laughs> Today's Friday, December the 8th. And overall, still feeling pretty good. I'd physically I'd rate myself nine out of 10. Um, I have very little time to run today. So I've got this 20 minutes spare on my lunch break um, before I have to go and head to Edinburgh for the rest of the day because I'm going to see a light show in the Botanics, um, which I'll put up some food on once I stop talking. <laughs> um, hopefully it'll be good. It's a little bit damp, but I think it's supposed to be drier in Edinburgh. Uh, so, holiday, getting it done. Today is Saturday, the 9th of December, and it's uh, my long run day. Normally I do it on a Sunday, but I'm taking my son swimming tomorrow morning, so I don't have time to do a long run. Oh, and this morning, when I looked at my watch, it said, don't run, take a day off. <laughs> I think that's one of the problems of Markathon or any type of run streak is that it's an obligation that you should quit running even if your body does not want to run and does not need to run. That's an important point. I don't think uh, running when you're tired makes you a better runner. I think it just makes you knackered. You're more likely to get injured. Saying that, I've ignored it all. I've come out for a run. But let's see how we feel tomorrow. But, oh yeah, we're reading. Uh, today my body feels one out of ten. Oh, that's because um, I think I mentioned yesterday I was going to Edinburgh last night to to the light show at Botanics. 
um, took the train through, pushed the pram all the way over to the mechanics, pushed the pram all the way back to the train, and I walked out about 20,000 steps I did last night, <laughs> which I feel good this morning. Today is Sunday, December the 10th, and I hardly slept at all. I ate like, something last night, which was actually just a chocolate mousse I bought uh, in Edinburgh on Friday night. I left it 24 hours to eat it, and after I ate it yesterday, I felt rank rotten. <laughs> um, I didn't sleep at all. My stomach was just all over the place. So I feel knackered this morning. My stomach doesn't feel any better. And I'm a great believer in one rule. Don't run when you're ill. <laughs> So I'm not going to run. Um, so yeah, I feel a little bit later on, but I think today it will just be a fast walk pushing Heath. Today is December the 11th. Um, it's a Monday <laughs> and I didn't manage to get a walk yesterday. I just felt off <laughs> all day long. Um, I feel a lot better today, so hopefully I'll go out and push the pram. Uh, once I've finished work for the day and then put some friends coming around and we'll play some board games. Um, hopefully we'll be back running tomorrow. Today is December the 13th. It's a Wednesday and I'm working from home. My stomach is still a bit off. Um, so I feel pretty good, like strong, but whenever I eat something then I feel my stomach starts gurgling away. <laughs> it's not very pleasant. Um, so I still haven't managed to do any running at all. Well, I have walked a little bit, like just now, walking up the stairs. Um, hopefully I'll be okay for the weekend. I think I'll probably just aim to try and get a long run done there. Today is Thursday, December 14th, and I'm currently driving home. Um, I should have been going to my work's Christmas party today, but my stomach is still sore, so instead I'm off home. <laughs> uh, hopefully we'll be better tomorrow. Today is Saturday the 16th of December and I finally feel okay. <laughs> My stomach doesn't feel sore at all and I was able to eat food without any issue. I think part of the problem was I was eating the wrong type of food while trying to recover from this because I looked up the NHS guide to um, good food for stomach ache and bad food for stomach ache and the bad food was basically what I was having for breakfast, lunch and dinner. <laughs> There's no wonder I couldn't shake it for a few days. So hopefully it's really good today. Got a Christmas party to go to. And I feel fine. I'll be the first one to go. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. At the end of week two, according to Mark Thorn, I should have run 70k or seven hours. I managed 18.7k in three hours, which means I'm now on 60k in eight and a half hours. So at the end of this week, I was feeling ill and I was behind where I should be compared to Markathon in time and distance. Today is Sunday the 17th of December and I've managed my first run since last Saturday. And I thought <laughs> uh, I would head out and just head up the, the, the local hill. Um, the weather's not very nice though, so it's absolutely chucking it down and it was blowing the gale on top of the hill. And what we see, it's a bit grey everywhere. Uh, supposed to be heading to Aberfeldy today. I think the forecast for the rest of the day is um, double rain on BBC Words website heavy winds. So I don't think I fancy driving in that. So head up tomorrow instead. Have a deal. I forgot to do rate my run before I headed out. So physically I gave myself 5 out of 10 because yesterday was the first time of the week I've actually had a proper breakfast, lunch and dinner. So I'm fully energetic. And overall in the run, didn't feel too bad, but I took it pretty easy. So we'll see a solid 7 out of 10. Oh, today is December the 18th, and it's a Monday, and the weather is awful again. <laughs> Although it's not too cold, I'm actually in shorts today, which is quite nice. Uh, I said yesterday I was heading to Upper Feldy, but that hasn't happened. Uh, my mum's got a stomach bug, so decided it was best for all of us. We just stayed at home for a few days. Um, we'll wait next week, so I'm quite happy to stay at home. Uh, Travelling with a baby involves a lot of logistics and moving stuff around, and the less I could have to do it, the better. Oh, 
run done. Felt okay at the start. Give myself an 8 out of 10. I'd already been out this morning and walked Heath in his pram three miles before going for a run. And the run itself, damp and grey, but it was okay. Get that one. Ah, 7 out of 10. Today is Tuesday, December the 19th, and the dogs are very excited because we just met some cows on the path. Not both dogs. Thankfully, we're on the lead. Otherwise, we'd be chasing those cows all over the hills. <laughs> I think today was one of those days where my motivation for running could be described as zero out of ten. Uh, even though my fitness feels okay. I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I think this is the big problem with any sort of form of run streak, exercise streak or anything like that. Is that an obligation to go out and do it, even if you don't need it or want it. I don't think this run would give me any benefit whatsoever, other than a very nice sunset over there. I know sometimes people say, oh, I couldn't be bothered running, then I went out and ran and loved it. No, today I went out and ran, and all I could think about was not running. Today is the 20th of December, it's on Tuesday, and my running motivation today is probably zero out of ten again. I think this is directly linked to the fact that I've got the, had yesterday off and had today off. And I'm looking after Heath and doing stuff with my wife. And those are all much more interesting. And much more of a priority than actually going for a run. <laughs> but I said I would try and run every single day this month. So I'm trying to get it done. Um, I think at the moment Heath's just fallen asleep. So I thought I'll probably get 20 minutes while he's asleep. So I'll go out, have a very quick run, and get back in time before he wakes up again. Oh, that was the shortest run yet, 1.3 miles. And I should probably mention, I didn't leave my son asleep while I went for a run. I left him with my wife. <laughs> Today is Thursday, 21st. I've got this party to go to. It's the only chance I'm going to run. Office. Tomorrow, I'll come take the bus to the office and then jump back to the car and take them again. It was quite windy this morning, so actually my hat fell off twice. But a quick read, um, it wasn't feeling great today because my hot water bottle burst last night. And I ended up in a very wet bed. At the end of week three, according to Marathon, I should have done 105k or 10 and a half hours of running. I managed 21.5k in three hours, which means I'm now on 71.5k in 11 and a half hours. So then this week, I was feeling much better, but I was now significantly behind where I should be in distance, but ahead in time. Today is Friday the 22nd of December. And it's my last day of work and I had a few drinks last night so if I hadn't been uh, forced to run today I wouldn't have a look. A cool new roll of a trip and uh, yeah if I hadn't left my car at work I definitely wouldn't have come in today and I definitely wouldn't have run. But I feel a bit better after having, after having run so it's not too bad. Saturday, uh, December 23rd, and that's my long run done for the week. A nice 10 miler um, all the way up to Finn Glen Waterfall, uh, which was quite a lot of water in today, and then a few more hills. I was fine, it's good to get some, get some hills in. Uh, now, time to go and see my mum. Today is Sunday, December 24th. And it's Christmas Eve, <laughs> which means my main tasks for the day are wrapping up Christmas presents and making a cake and making a cheesecake for Christmas dinner tomorrow. So, oh, and one more task. Um, 
the reason for my run today. I need to run to the supermarket and get some milk. <laughs> today is December the 25th and it's Christmas Day. Daley Thompson, the decathlete, used to say he trained on Christmas Day because he knew his rivals wouldn't be. And that would mean he'd be one day better trained than them. They probably got to the start line and thought, we've got one extra day of rest over Daley Thompson, which will make us better. Not sure which one's better. It's absolutely chucking it down. I've got 10 minutes for my brother and mum to come round to visit. So this is going to be the quickest run ever. <laughs> That's run done. Um, I think I'll rate that one a 0 out of 10. That will be for run. Well, what's more impressive is my wife, sister, and friend Dan, who this morning went for a trip and came to the cold water. Today is Tuesday, December 26th, Boxing Day, and feeling pretty good. I don't need to drink too much on Christmas Day, so it never affects me too too badly. Uh, it's a beautiful day, blue skies, and I'm feeling pretty good, so it gives us a 9 out of 10. The run's nice from the forest today, I'll we'll give that an 8 out of 10. I've already been out this morning, uh, got a good car valley pushing the heat pram, and it was stunning. So, good guy, best of the last week, forecast of rain. Today is December the 27th, and it's a storm in Gillette. Today's run is sponsored by, no, it's not sponsored by anyone, <laughs> but I did see a bottle of Hool in the shop and I see a lot of YouTubers advertising it and I have never tried it in my life. So I thought it'd be interesting before we're going for a run to have a quick mouthful and see what it's like. Delicious. Actually, it was okay. It was a bit like a, a chocolate milkshake, but slightly more sludgier. I don't think they'll use that for the advertising campaign. Don't think I'll have that again, though. But today, I've no motivation to run because I've already been out three times today, walking, pramming, and going around shops and stuff like that. But I'm going to get it done, so I'm going to do five minutes, probably, at most. <laughs> I'm done. Don't think I even broke a sweat. At the end of week four, according to Marathon, I should have done 140k or 14 hours of running. I managed 54.6k in seven hours, which means I'm now on 126.1k in 18.5 hours. So at the end of this week, I was feeling good and I was catching up on my marathon distance, but well ahead on time. Today is December the 28th, I think, and my goal is to run until uh, I find a donut. 
Unfortunately, the nearest donut shop is 26 miles away, so I'll have to run a marathon today to go and get it. Second problem is the donut shop tends to run out of donuts quite early, so if I don't get there relatively quickly, there might be no donuts. I've done a whole video about my donut marathon, so if you're interested, check that one out. Today is Saturday, the 30th of December, and I'm out for a sort of fast walk <laughs> rather than jog. I'll okay, count as running. But I have got two dogs and a baby with me, so it's a bit hard to, to run properly. Uh, I don't feel too bad though, after a marathon yesterday, although I am very hungry. I had donuts for breakfast. <laughs> It's only one more day to go. I do have some conclusions. I think 30 days is a perfect length of time for trying out anything. So although I've not been able to run every day, I have at least tried to, or uh, I've been out walking. In fact, I think because I've not limited myself to marathons 5k a day, I suspect by the end of the month I'll have run more than if I had actually done marathon. Be interesting to see the stats when I finish up tomorrow. I'm not positive, forced me to go out running even when I didn't want to go running. The negatives forced me to go running even when I didn't want to go running. Um, but it has got me into the habit of again, which I think is a positive step. And although I will not run every day in January, I will run more often. Today is Sunday, 31st of December, and it's the end of my challenge. So I'm out for a run on the beach. Um, I like to feel pretty good today. I feel pretty good as well. No uh, real after effects from doing the marathon. And uh, dogs are out with me. Well, they've been a bit unreliable. <laughs> Try to eat and then bump into my wife. And now they both want to go home and be with her rather than me. <laughs> She's the boss. <laughs> one, 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 one. So, what conclusions can I make after all of my months of running? I think it's one simple one. Try on the beach, which is always better than on the road. <laughs> um, other than that, I would say. Um, just get out and run. It's not complicated, it's not difficult. You don't have to run every day. In fact, I would probably recommend not running every day. I would recommend having a rest. You need a rest. But just get out. It'll make you feel better. And it's been a worthwhile exercise. Oh, and this is not the end of the video. I'll be back tomorrow for a dip in the sea. At the end of Markathon, I should have done 155k or 15 and a half hours of running. I managed 172 and a half k in 27 and a half hours, which means that despite my illness, I had beaten Marco. The joy of running for me is variety, and I think that's why I preferred Enathon to Markathon because each day I could do as little or as much as I want. You might think differently, so next Christmas, give either Enathon or Markathon a try. And lastly, here's proof that I did run in the sea.